a quote that um, from Foxy Brown, what she said in regards to the, her uh, loyalty and Jay-Z. She says, when I lost my hearing, Jay gave me the respect to go heal myself. He stuck with me along the way, but there are times when I just really needed him. And it wasn't even about Foxy Brown and Jay-Z. It was just... It was just like, I need you to help me save my life, and he just wasn't there. I would never denounce him in public. That's just how I feel. But I've been incarcerated for eight months, and Jay's been everywhere, and he hasn't mentioned one thing about tell her I love her, tell her to be strong. That broke my heart, and more than anything, when they sent me to jail, I just knew he would be there. Everyone came, but he never showed up. My mother always says, Jay also said this, in the true life freestyle Inga, when a person shows you who they are, believe them. Been showing me all through the years and you just don't want to believe it. Okay, to me that, that speaks volumes. You know, and I don't give a fuck what no one says. Before Beyonce, Jay-Z and Foxy Brown were the original Bunny and Clyde. But as he got bigger and as he got more famous, he did the same thing that so many black males do. Ditched dark skin uh, Foxy Brown and he started, the women got they non-dark skin. You know, it, that's, it just is what it is. You know, and it's just like, it's so fucking sad how, you know, these black men just, they don't care about dark skin women. They have so much self-hate built up in them that <laughs> it's just like you, when they get to that level, they push away, they block, you know, they do whatever they can to disassociate themselves with their blackness. And that in large part includes disassociating themselves from the dark-skinned black woman. The dark-skinned black woman always gets thrown under the fucking bus. And I hope to God one day that Foxy Brown comes out and other dark-skinned women that are in the industry, that they come out and speak on this and speak about it truthfully and honestly. I don't give a fuck how famous they are. You know, you, I feel like we don't have anything to lose. I feel like we have everything to gain by speaking about the discrimination that our own black men are doing to us. It's, it's just, it, it just breaks my heart. At the end of the day, I'm a very emotional person. I make no bones about that. And just to see black men doing this and, and you know, publicly and it's just like ugh really you hate us that much the women that gave birth to the whole fucking entire human race facts you hate us that much that you would do anything in your power to stop and block our economic progress our progress through life and this doesn't just happen and on the entertainment level it happens in corporate America okay I wrote about this in my book, A Dark Skinned Woman's Revenge, it happens all across the board. Guys, share this video. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. And just pray for us. You know, just, you know, I'm, that's it. I'm done. The donation link is below. Thank you guys for watching.